Next, we visit Bitter Guana, inhabited only by iguanas. Check out our new friends. And then there was this. The smaller the creature, the bolder its spirit. Susie Kasim. We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. After an overnight at Big Farmer, we made our way back to Black Point. We definitely needed to do laundry again and hang out with the cats on the back deck. And absolutely, we had to have more of Mama's bread. Everything's a little harder now that COVID's locking down the outer, outer islands, but Black Point continued to seem pretty normal overall. While here, we also tore the back out of the corner of the couch. I've been complaining about this for some time, so since we were headed back to the States, we decided to just tear it out and have some extra cushions made while we went, were at home. So here is a sneak peek at the new look. The sunsets did not disappoint once again from this anchorage. Last time we were in the Black Point area, we had tried to overnight at Bitter Guana, but it was just too rolly for our liking. So we moved on to Black Point. While anchored here in Black Point, we decided to make the five mile run in Shelby up to Bitter Guana to see this isolated island where the only inhabitants are the iguanas. We arrived on the beach and were quickly greeted by the friendly inhabitants. They are just hungry and looking for a handout. Obviously, tourists come here and feed them, and we had read about this, so we did not come empty-handed. We explored the beach and we're looking for a trail to climb to the top of the cliffs. We finally made it to the top and the view was stunning. The blue, blue water still leaves me speechless. Back down on the beach, it was time to say goodbye to our new friends. As we climbed into shell, we noticed a dark spot in the water and then we saw this. Sorry for the poor footage, but holding a camera in the water while Shelby is moving in circles and a shark is below was apparently not something I was very good at. We aren't sure what kind it was, but it was a big one. So we're making a guess. A bull shark?
Next up, we're exploring the Rocky Dundas in the Exuma Land and Sea Park. <laughs> 